Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Thank you very much for joining me. Tonight I'm going to be shooting the Firework Galaxy. So I haven't shot a Galaxy for quite some time. Back in um, February, March, early April during Galaxy season, I shot all of the classic targets. So I shot the Pinwheel Galaxy, I shot the Whirlpool Galaxy, the Needle Galaxy, the Leo Triplet, all of the, all of the classics that you, you probably saw on Instagram and um, on social media. Um, but during the summer months, um, I focused on nebula images using my mono camera, so the ASI 1600, using narrowband filters. Um, so it'll be good to get back to shooting galaxies and uh, hopefully I can get some good data tonight. I've also got um, a new bit of kit. So this is the ZWO off-axis guider. So this should or this is um, replacing my old guide scope so this guide scope here is the zwo 30 mil f4 so this guide scope has a focal um, length of 120 mil my main scope that i'm using tonight or i use most nights is a thousand millimeters so there's quite a difference between this and my main scope so what the off-axis guider allows me to do is use my main scope as my guide cam as well. So this essentially goes between the, the camera and the telescope. It collects some light and sends that up to the, um, the guide camera. So I can use my main telescope as my guide cam. Obviously that means that my guide camera and my, my main scope are the same focal length. So they're both a thousand millimeters. Um, which should give me more accurate tracking, more accurate water guiding. Well, that's the theory anyway. Um, I haven't installed it yet. I've watched a couple of videos on YouTube and it looks fairly straightforward to, to install and set up. Um, the, the biggest problem or the hardest thing that people have mentioned is trying to actually find focus with the, with the guide camera. So hopefully I don't have too many issues with that, but I will show you when, uh, when it's all set up in the, in the telescope and um, I'll show you me trying to find find focus using using the off-axis guider. Okay, so I've managed to set up the off-axis guider, um, as you can see here. Uh, it didn't take too long, I had to play around with a few different adapters to make it fit. Hopefully I've got the spacing right on my main camera, but we'll find that out later on. Um, so as you can see here, I've got my main camera, I've got the filter wheel, got a couple of little adapters, and then this is the, the off-axis guider. So here, you can see the off-axis guider now sits and comes off um, my main um, image train rather than being attached to the, uh, the guide scope. So hopefully I'll be able to show you this, but if you can see inside, I'm not sure you'll be able to see that, but just inside here, there's a tiny little mirror which reflects some light up towards the guide camera here. So as you can see, there's the off-axis guider set up on the telescope outside. So there's the actual off-axis guider in the image train. There's the guide cam coming out the back. And that is the space where my old guide scope used to sit. thing I tried very nearly worked but unfortunately I'm just out as you can see I was close those are out of focus stars um, so I'm nearly there I'm probably just a few millimeters out on the, the image train um, but obviously I can't reach focus with, with the setup I've got I'm gonna have to buy a couple of new, new spaces um, just to remove some of that um, the distance between the camera and the actual telescope but still very very frustrating um, I've spent about 45 minutes to an hour trying to get focus and not achieved it so back to the uh, the smaller guide scope because I don't want to waste this clear night um, but on the plus side Alfie's had about an hour long game of fetch and he's absolutely loved it so I said I'd just about given up hope, however, I've just worked out that if I loosen this little screw here, I 
can actually move the guider up and down and that might give me enough space to miss the focuser because this bit here was banging into the Skywatcher focuser and I couldn't get in close enough to, to achieve focus. It looked like that last, that last little adjustment seems to have done the trick. So if you look at my screen now, while I focus, look at those stars getting smaller. Look at those stars reaching focus. And I've actually gone too far the other way now. So brilliant, so that is the main scope reaching focus. Now just the guide scope left to go and the guide camera left to go. <laughs> Hopefully it's not as tricky. And believe it or not, quite surprisingly, I actually managed to uh, focus the guide cam as well. Had to remove a couple of uh, couple of little adapters and slide the guide cam in in and out of the, the off-axis guider. But we got there in the end. Okay so I'm back inside now. Um, have all set up. I'm guiding. My guiding data is looking quite good. So if I show you the graph I don't know if you can see the graph on there, but I'm about about 0.8, which is lower than it was previously. Um, usually it's been between 0.8 and about 1.5, um, so it's, it's lower than lower than it has been, which is good. I probably need to play around with the the guiding figures, the calibration steps, and uh, the uh, the aggression, but. Um, yeah, happy that it's all set up and ready to go. Just about to collect the uh, the first image, so got five seconds left. So you can see what the uh, what the first luminance image looks like when it loads. Hopefully, it looks quite good. And just as I show you that, my iPad's died. <laughs> so hopefully, this time the image will pop up on screen and you'll see the first exposure. And there it is. One exposure of the firework galaxy. Okay, so I thought I was um, shooting, thought I was collecting data, but um, just rechecked the image that I showed you before, and I'm not really sure how I missed it. I think it's because you've got all of the information down the sides on the ASI Air, but when you actually look at the image that I collected, although the, the center looks good with the actual galaxy, you can see there's a huge shadow right down the right, um, the bottom right of the, of the screen. And that's actually the off-axis guide of the prison. Um, blocking the, the main camera sensor. So I'm re not really sure how, how I missed that earlier on, but I obviously did. Um, so I've been back out, I've rotated it all, um, and hopefully that does the job. Okay, so last few seconds before the first exposure, hopefully, um, loads. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so... <laughs> Still a shadow, not great to be honest. I think this is a, a pretty much a failed experiment with the off-axis guider tonight. Might just have to uh, have to look into the different spaces and make sure it's correct. Okay, so unfortunately the images I collected last night weren't usable. Um, too much of a shadow caused by the off-axis guider. So what I've done is I've taken it apart again and I have attached the off-axis guider directly to the filter wheel so hopefully you can see here I've got a different setup now and the the guider is here directly attached to the filter wheel and then just one spacer before it goes into into the focuser so this is what everyone was um, suggesting online 
what I'm going to do now is I've got the, the telescope lined up in the hallway. I'm going to open the front door in a moment and try and focus it on, on one of the houses down the road. But that's the new setup. That's hopefully, hopefully going to work tonight and hopefully I'll have some better luck. Okay, so this is the main camera. I think I've cracked it now. This is the main camera. If you uh, take a photo through that, this is just someone's roof, so you can see that that is uh, pretty much focused. It's quite a long way away, so hopefully it should pick up some stars for me to get focused later on. And then if I switch to the guide cam, which I've done now, take a photo. It's a slightly tighter crop because of the smaller sensor, but that is focused again. And there's no shadows anywhere on the on either of the cameras. So fingers crossed it's uh, finally set up and I should be able to use it tonight. Okay, so it's the next night and I finally have the uh, off-axis guider working. It's all set up, all taking images now of the fireworks galaxy. Guiding's working really well. I'm on about 0 0.4, 0 0.5, so that's the, the best guiding I've had with this setup. So I'm really happy and glad it's, uh, it's finally all set up and working. Lots of issues last night, I didn't get any usable data, but hopefully it'll make up for it tonight. As you can see, or as you can probably hear, it's quite windy, um, so might not get the best image, but I'm just happy to, to get this new bit of kit, kit up and working. I've just done the, or the, the ASI Air's just done the automatic Meridian flip, um, worked really well, um, so I should be set to, to take images all night now. Um, this is what a single exposure is looking like at the moment. So this is one single four minute exposure luminance data on the fireworks galaxy, so pretty happy with that. Scope's taking images. I'm gonna head in and get some sleep. Thank you very much for sticking with me. I know this has been quite a long video and I know I've had lots of issues, but that's uh, what happens when you get new kit, I suppose. Anyway, happy it's all working and uh, let me know your thoughts on the, the final image.